Afternoon YouTube. Yes, it's me, and I'm back again. So that looks like another perfectly good Sunday, completely ruined yet again. Still, never mind. As you can see, I am in a slightly different location today. Thank heaven somebody said we're sick of that grotty old wood. Who said that? Oh, it was me, sorry. I'll just pan round and I'll show you where I am. So that is just about the full 360, so to speak. Down at the side of the Air and Colder Navigation Canal, just outside Leeds. And I thought I would do something that I don't normally do. I would do a food review. I'm not exactly Fanny Craddock or Graham Kerr or Keith Floyd, but friend of mine by the name of Paul Newton gave me a couple of these yesterday now I know that a picture is worth a thousand words but here's a few words anyway it's as you can see it's one of Ainsley Harriet's world kitchen lemon mint and parsley couscous and it's 200 grams and suitable for vegetarians which I suppose being couscous I suppose it would be and for those of you not familiar with Ainsley Harriet which I imagine most people in America won't have ever heard of him there's the chap himself smiling smugly out of the packet now these are all the destructions on the back of the packet I mean most people are familiar how to make couscous I mean you know we're not exactly talking gourmet cooking here and I'm certainly not a gourmet cook I think you may be able to make that out but I will provide subtitles for the hard of thinking it says add 160 mils of water of the boiling variety you whap it in to a bowl with the couscous out of the sachet give it five minutes and Robert's your brother's uncle or is it your father's brother it's some relative anyway so enough of the waffle uh, so there is the finished article and I have slightly embellished it with a couple of things this being one of them because I do like my spicy food I must admit although my stomach ulcers don't like it but however I overrule them with a presidential edict and they just have to put up with it and I also just pop a little bit of salt in which I keep in this kinder surprise container jolly useful little things these but there you go as you can see I've brought the rest of the usual crowd along Stevens US canteen mug my little homemade cafetier stove turn out very very useful actually very useful um, obviously there's that's my little bottle of meths here's Mr. Spoon from Button Moon my homemade lid for the canteen made out of a, a old piece of um, aluminum pizza peel um, and 
of course, here you are Ralph, the all essential cup of joe. As Ralph very rightly says, there is no life before coffee. Have a nice afternoon, and I just thought I'd share this little food spot with you, seeing as you are unable to be here in person. And there's lots of people walking past me, all looking at me, thinking, oh look, there's a nutcase talking to himself. And to be fair, they are probably right. So, anyway, uh, I hope you like this little sort of rambling on so, sort of a mini food review as such as I say I haven't done them before and I don't intend to make a habit of them but you know if you're in the supermarket you, and you do see this I can quite recommend it it's quite nice obviously the main advantage of it is it's light and the ease of making it because I am a rubbish cook however so anyway I hope you like this little mon monotonous monologue. Uh, as always, thanks very much for watching, and bye.